In this video, I'm going to create a custom class and implement the comparable interface on that class and then sort that, that uh, a collection of that class using the comparable interface. So we're going to go ahead right away and create a class and I'm going to call it cat uh, since I already created dog in the last video. It's just going to be a generic class and we're going to uh, put a method on it. So we can say um, private string name and I'm going to generate a couple of things on here the first thing I'm going to do is uh, generate um, getters and setters and I'm just going to generate getters and setters for the name and the other thing I'm going to do is implement comparable so this is an interface so you say implements comparable and this is the one Java Lang comparable and you're going to notice it's going to give you a generic um, uh, position here. And what you want to do is just compare it to another cat. Uh, that's the idea. You want to compare it to the same kind of class. And so now uh, Eclipse is going to yell at us. And we want to say add the unimplemented method. Yes, compare to. And what we're going to do is take this other cat and compare it. This is the other cat. So it has a method now, it takes another cat, other cat, whoops, other cat, just so that's obvious. And we're going to say um, this dot get name. And this is really convenient for us because of uh, the compare to on a string. And then we're going to say other cat dot get name. So now we're comparing the first the name of the first cat to the name of the other cat. And when it goes, when when Java goes through and sorts, when we call collections.sort on this, it's going to for each each iteration of the sorting algorithm, it's going to call compare to, and then this is going to return an integer. It'll be a positive integer if it should go higher. It'll be a negative integer if it should go zero, or if it should go lower in the list. And it'll be zero if it should be the same place if they compare exactly. And that's what that's what this uh, two string compare this uh, string dot compare to does. And if it were an integer, you could you could very easily if it were some kind of numeric type, you could easily easily do some math. If it was greater than or less than, you could return a one, a zero, or a negative one. But since we have a string, we can just call compare to on the string, and it'll be very convenient for us. So let's go ahead and save this cat, and I'm going to make a new class. And we're going to call this class um, compare using comparable. And this will be a class we're going to run directly. Okay. So we'll have a list, uh, Java Util list. It'll be a list of cats. And we'll say new array list. And the thing I forgot to do here is I need to make a public constructor for cat. Um, we're going to have string name. And this is for my convenience. When I type this, I'll say this.name equals name. So now I can just say cats.add a new cat. And we can call one of the cats Garfield and uh, what other cats can we have here? Let's make another cat. A uh, new cat. Uh, we'll call it Loki. Uh, Cats.add. So, and we're going to sort this so that the uh, things that appear first in the alphabet are going to move up towards the top. So, I'm going to make a cat called Art just because it starts with an A. And we're going to make another cat uh, called Z. So it's at the bottom. And I'm going to make, I'm finally going to make one more cat. And we are going to see if that floats up to the top and Z floats down to the bottom. So this is, this is uh, very similar to what we did last time when we implemented the uh, comparator class. We're going to call collections util. So this is a public class, a public uh, static method, and we're going to call sort. And 
now because we actually extend or the we sorry we implement the comparable uh, interface we don't have to pass in a comparator we just we just pass in the list of our cats so that'll be cats right there and that'll run the sort right there and just so we can see this I'm going to print out each cat um, cat Uh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, these are cats after all. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. Oh, we forgot to do one thing. We're getting memory references. So what we actually need to do here is um, create a two string method. So I'm gonna do source, generate two string. Yep, just the name, that's fine. There we go. And now I can run this again. And so it looks like it's sorted correctly. The things at the front of the alphabet moved up to the top of the list, and the things at the bottom of the alphabet moved to the bottom. So that's, that's very quickly how you use the comparable interface on a class and compare it to itself on whatever field you would like. So thanks for watching.